Hi. Now, I know what you're thinking. For a film about sound, this doesn't sound. I know what you're thinking. For a film about sound design, this doesn't sound. Well, how about we make it sound? Can you hear the difference now? The bar. Wow. Well, the bar. Can you hear the difference now? PJ Scott. In the mix where it belongs. Getting your sass right is essential if you want to add real value to your knees. And if you want to be taken seriously as a ass. And if you want to be the part. And ass. Here's a fair, fairly common scene. The main character sat in a cock somewhere similar, discussing a recent plot development with his friend Eris. Notice the ass. It's in keeping with the environment and doesn't distract from the important stuff. The da. Sus. Turns out the company in this story has come to a seemingly impassable last one. What? I'm, I'm, I'm the judge. I think there's still hope. But can we use. But can we use. But can we use. But can we use. But can we. Can we use. Well. What's going on? What? Can't hear that. I'm in SAS. Shh. SAS. As you can see, changing the ambient SAS can drastically alter the acid. Sam Ass can also reveal a character's state of mind. For example, they could be talking and then suddenly realize, 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 realize something, something, something. I need another cop. See, I didn't know who I was. She didn't know who I was. She didn't know who I was. She didn't know who I Attention. In the absence of ass, even the smallest sass can be used to heighten the sense of height. You can come now. Mm. You can come back and keep. You can come back and keep. So, so I hope this film has fucked a few ideas about how you can use SAS in your own film. Now go out there, experiment, have experiment, have fuff, and good luck.